Today I get to do something that I've always wanted to do. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Previously on the Hermitcraft server. I really, really want that permit, but I know that Grian probably wants my Prismarine permit more. I'm curious to see what he will give me. Who could I... say no to that? I'm gonna be honest with you, mate. I still feel like I could probably make more diamonds than this. Come on! <laughs> How many diamonds do, do I need to put around this? All the ice. All the ice is good, but I'm going to be getting iced out with the Prismarine permit. Well, just take them all then. Just take them all. Here, take my mending book. <laughs> no. I don't want it that badly. I just realized I think the mending book sent me over the edge. No, I, I can't. I can't part with it. No, I, I'm out. I'm done. Oh, mate. Oh. And that just about brings us to the present day. There he is. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello, Hello, Mumbo. Hello, Grian. How's it going? Yes. How Good. are Just you? Working on a permit office. What, for like trading of permits and things? Are you interested in any uh, trading of permits no, or anything like that? More, more to fix some of the mistakes I made when I wrote the list. Ah. <laughs> 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 it's not as glamorous as all that. <laughs> well, look. See? I've got a barrel ah. as well. Yeah, I can do the barrel the thing. The negotiator. Do you remember this? Is that... Yeah. Is, is that still... Is that still on I your mind? I remember it. Did you Is that still on your mind as in terms of trades and things like that? You know, I know we had like that jokey back and forth and everything and you know, I was like bumping up your price a little bit and then I almost gave you my mending book. And you almost that, did. Yeah. That that really genuinely kind of hit my soul. <laughs> yeah, so put you up. I, I just yeah. started questioning how much I wanted it and I was like, "No, I want the mending book more." And it kind of, I don't know, put me off a little bit. Right. So you don't want it. Is what you're saying. Uh, you still don't well, want Well, I it. mean, I'd still I'd still take it off your hands, but more for, like, this. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was two stacks, you know, because one stack would have been insulting, <laughs> but two stacks. <laughs> well, I feel I'm being generous now. <laughs> Look, okay, I really, really, really want your iron and gold. Uh, well, why didn't you just take it because then? Because I just, I, I thought I could get, like, a little bit more out of you, but then you seemed to really want it, and I was like, well, you might go really far. <laughs> but then I, I really... You know, Sucked at negotiating. I was like, I mildly want this. Yeah, My yeah. Mildly. Um, okay, how about this? How about this? Okay, I'll throw the saddle in. You know, that's a, that's a, <laughs> Is that that's the a... saddle I gave you? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Did I pick it up? Oh, I could have done, maybe. I don't, I don't know. What about, look, this? Got to put a little hat oh. on it. Yeah, pretty oh. good, pretty good. <laughs> a little hat on it. Yeah, yeah. Can give, give you some oh. two sides on either side. And how about this? I I'm liking the way this is shaping up. Really throw in warp blocks. Okay, take those out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's buying warp blocks? It's a good question, Grian. Thought I could thought I could get rid of that one easily. What if uh, I also I go like that? It's like Corallis. No, I see what you've done there. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So it's like Corallis. And you wouldn't want to let I mean, Corallis if you, down. If you genuinely you? want to get rid of the warp blocks, I would I would take that. Oh, now you got me thinking. So war blocks uh, for iron and gold. I can keep the prismarine. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm taking the. It's done. The deal is done. The deal is done. The deal is done. The deal is done. <laughs> take take the iron and gold, and I tell you what, give you some copper as well. We always need copper. I thought you said give me some copper. I was like, no, 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 you can't do that after the deal and is finished. Boom. There we go. Okay, let's let's yeah. make this official. That is official. It's been signed. <laughs> There we go. Signed. <laughs> Done. Oh, oh, thanks, my boat. I can't wicked. believe it. Oh, it was. I can't. I can't oh. believe I. Oh, you could have taken everything I had, and somehow I it's. <laughs> I, could, I could cry. I could actually cry. <laughs> and you have a better mustache than me. This is a terrible. This has been a terrible I'm experience. Oh. oh no. No, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy that I got the iron and gold. I'm gonna be rich. Um, and I'm gonna be happy. And. Are you missing the warp blocks? Yeah, weirdly I am a little bit, but oh. I think. Yeah. Look, why don't we? Sh we could share the warp blocks if yeah, you want. Yeah, okay, we'll share the. You want to? You want to team up and sell warp together? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be. We're gonna make a warp monopoly. <laughs> we'll share. We, we're gonna share that one diamond between us so hard. <laughs> yeah, back in forget business, Sahara. buddy. <laughs> yeah, forget yeah. mega mega shops and corporations. We're going all in on warps. I tell you what, it would be amazing to make the biggest, most <laughs> just like obscene warp shop in the world. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I've ever bought warts or nope. seen warts been sold. Nope. No, but you best believe our shop is going to be the most magnificent, most complicated, most incredible mega build to have ever existed. This might existed. be the stupidest thing that's ever happened, but I'm really happy it has. Okay, yeah, I'm, cool. I feel better. You feel good about the deal? Yeah, I'm, fe- I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. My, my pockets feel a little bit lighter, but I think that's a good thing. and I'm excited for the future. So... Yeah, I think that's a, that's a success, right? Look, okay, quite a lot of you were pointing out in the comment section that I'm not exactly a master negotiator. Uh, oh, I think I've messed up a lot of my deals so far. Turns out Doc wants to pay me in sand. Watching back the deal with Cub, I actually managed to convince him into getting my gilded Blackstone deed. And then I gave up the ability to have all of Korean's permits and somehow ended up paying him more. This is terrible. But I do still have one fairly valuable permit remaining. Just give me a second, I've got access to things. Perfect. It's this. All item frames. Genuinely, I actually think this is quite good. Maybe? I, I don't know anymore. I really don't know. I thought explosive fireworks were pants, but then everyone told me they were good. I don't know what to think. Prismarine probably was a better permit than the iron and gold one, but honestly, I don't want to build a Prismarine farm, so I'm happy with this, in my opinion. Item frames, massive pain to gather. You need loads of sticks, loads of leather. I actually think they'll be quite good sellers. So I've got a looting two sword. I think I'm just going to gather the leather manually for the time being and see how much I can get. If I sell them for one diamond for 16, that seems about right for the time being. While they're organic, organically harvested, no farms involved, these are wild grass-fed cows. Hopefully you should be able to generate myself a pretty good profit. I've set myself a time limit of one hour. Every westward cow shall be slain. If I can dismount my boat. I, I've fallen at the first hurdle. Not a single cow has been slain yet. Get me off this thing. Everyone knows you're not a true seaman until you've tripped on your own boat. Things are going well. Life is satisfying. Murdering innocent bovine is an enjoyable pastime. Where are your parents? I need to murder them for their skin. What on earth? I forgot about that red- Oh my goodness. I forgot about that feature. That's good. The, the horseman. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm a savage. I'm an absolute savage. Oh. Okay, get me out of here. What, do I- Do I get anything good from that? I got this. But honestly, I think, judging by the number of arrows that are in me, it's not worth it. I could tell I was becoming unhinged, so I did the rest of my murdering in silence. And I gotta say, if I'm intending on having a fully stocked item frame store for the rest of this season, definitely going to need a bartering farm. Now that does work in my favor because I do now have the gold permit, which means not only can I sell the gold, I can also get the leather from the bartering farm to use for the item frames. But doing it this way, my goodness, I've killed hundreds of cows. And I don't even have that much leather. But hopefully it's enough. I'll be honest, this is probably the largest amount of leather I've ever had in Minecraft. We have got just over five stacks, which if I gather all of the sticks for the item frames, it's going to be... Oh, I guess it's a one-to-one, right? It's one-to-one on the leather. So it's going to be just over five stacks of item frames, which is around about 20 sets of 16. 20 sets of 16. So wait, hang on a second. I've just spent an hour and a half flying all around the server, using up all of the durability of my Elytra for a maximum of 20 diamonds. <laughs> I could have just gone mining. This this shop is stupid. I've ruined everyone on the server's chance of getting a cow. For what? For what? I haven't even built the shop yet. I still need to build the shop. And to top it all off, I've just come to terms with how many sticks I actually need. Item frames are the the worst recipe that's ever existed in Minecraft. Can we all agree on that, please? Yeah. Look, that's two stacks of logs. In fact, I've just done the math in my head. Of course it is. It's one log per item frame. How? How is this little frame an entire one meter by one meter cube of log? What sort of wasteful frame builder is crafting these things? I've just done some Googling. One cubic meter of oak. It weighs 730 kilos. 730 kilos worth of wood have gone into this, this frame. <laughs> That's about the weight of a Fiat Panda. I don't know why Fiat Pandas keep coming up in my Hermitcraft episodes. This is not a sponsored message. Unless you want it to be Fiat, my DMs are open. I am absolutely flabbergasted. After whining and moaning for a little while longer, I finally gathered all of the item frames I need. So now let's actually build up the shop. And to be honest, I haven't actually been over to the shopping district yet since we did the Hermit Permit stuff. So there might be shops popping up already. I don't really know what the vibe is, but I do have an idea for this shop. And hilariously, it actually requires more resource gathering. Let's get this out of the way quickly for you guys. Not for me. Uh, it's, it's not it's not quick for me. But I'm speeding it up for you so that you don't have to watch me 
just continuously punching trees and gathering cobblestone and all that good stuff. I'm now all sorted, so let's head over to the shopping district and take a look. I don't know why I'm almost feeling nervous at this point in time. Like, if I mess this up, it feels so much more official now that we have the permits. Like, for all I know, there could be zoning laws and things. Okay, it seems like I'm going to be one of the first to make a shop. This is really cool. There's lots of really nice builds dotted around here. There's a few that are currently in progress. I like the look of this one. What is this? Okay, so we've got grey wool and lime wool as well. One stack for one diamond. Not bad. Yellow terracotta, okay. And rooted dirt. The bamboo looks so good. That looks so, so good. I really like this as well. I actually love this. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the mangrove roots with the mud inside. That is... Oh. In terms of placement, what do we think to here? I mean, this looks pretty good. I can go on the top of this hillside here. I feel like that'll be out of the way. It leaves room for expansion. There's still room for a path there. The thing is, I have absolutely no frame of reference for how big this build is going to be. Do you get it? F frame. Because it's frame, sh frame shop's good, isn't it? So, prepare yourselves for my fairly silly idea, potentially. I want to make a build inside of an item frame so the entrance to my shop is going to be a house that is suspended in an item frame. <laughs> Which sounded... Sounded a lot better in my head, but I like I do like this idea. Like, I think this is gonna be quite cool I think if I execute this well, this will actually end up looking good uh, So we've got yet yeah, the standard front of a house here. That's a good start It's a good start and then of course I've got to add in all of these bits So we've got the overhangs you got the roof and I'm trying my best to add in Some color differences. Yeah, I think that looks okay. I might even actually add some stripped oak in here, will that make things look a little bit better? Let's see. Yeah, 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 I like it, I like it. I'm acting as if this is some kind of revolutionary architectural design. Fairly certain this is like page one of the how to build a Minecraft house guide. As I was building, Skiz popped by and worked on his build next door and I realized I haven't actually spoken to him much since the start of the season. Oh my goodness, is that a Skizzle man? Hey, Mr. Mumbo. How's it going? Hey, Good man, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. I'm, I think I'm going to be your your shop neighbor, maybe. Am I too close? Am I too close to you? <laughs> no, because I, I literally just started building. So if anything, uh, am I too close to you? No, 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 not <laughs> at all. No, that's that stuff never bothers me. In fact, I started to build up here and I didn't even, is this, wait, what, what's your shop going to be? I forget. Oh, so this is this is going to be my item frame shop. Uh, this is uh, cherry wood and mangrove. Wee! Oh, you've got, yeah. oh, that's pretty cool. That's a good you know, combo. You know what's funny is, uh, so my after we pulled the deeds, mm -hmm. uh, my that whole clip, it it the last thing you hear is your voice fading out saying, "That's a lot of manual labor." <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's a, yeah. yeah, they're pretty rough things to gather. Uh, well, I feel a bit bad because I so I I was a, I was a log person, but then. But then Doc came in and gave me an offer that I didn't want to refuse, and now, but now I feel like I should have refused it because I think Doc's gonna pay me in sand. Um, Is it, oh, what? <laughs> yeah. I'd uh, say so if, he, if he pays you in sand, we're getting the union together. We're yeah, going yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm joining. I'm joining the log workers union. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Neighborly chit chat aside, let's get back to the build. Okay, I'm about ready to start building my item frame, but I've just realised it has a slight gradient to it. How on earth am I going to do that? That actually seems kind of difficult. Something I've thought about doing is packed mud. Maybe that could be the way to do it. Oh gosh, it is slow though. Let's have a look. So if I start stacking these up next to one another, they... yeah. I think... I mean, I probably don't have to do the vignette, but as long as there's some kind of difference in texture, I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's way better than if it was just terracotta. I don't know why I'm feeling incredibly nervous. I just... I really don't want to get this wrong. Uh, it's good. It's just off center. But that should now be fixed. And I am, yeah, I'm feeling happy with that. Let's start adding in the frame going around the edge. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of stripped logs to this just to once again add some texture because the item frame has got a few little differences in the way that the wood grain looks. And done. Okay, let's see. Nice, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, I'm chuffed with that. That is great. Oh, no, I've just thought, can I make mud slabs? I can, that's cool. Okay, so maybe the underside of this could be made of those. In fact, that actually, 
Yeah, that works pretty well. Cool. I've added in all of the extra details. I've put a door on. I think this is a very, very good start. Now I'm actually going to construct the block that this thing is placed on. So I'm going to do it as like a stone grassy block here. And I think one thing that's going to help this look really good is a whole bunch of leaves. They will just help me add some foliage to the top. But for now, I'm adding all of the bits in at the bottom. And I'm trying my best to channel my inner Joel and my inner... My inner B00 and my inner green by adding some gradients and bits. I, I think it's doing something. Okay, now how do I do the gradient from stone to grass? I, I need to transfer over now from stone to, to dirt and then grass. Do I just... Do I just do it? There's kind of no intermediate block. Maybe some more packed dirt. That could probably do the trick. Ooh, maybe some gravel. Gravel seems close to dirt. It has the texture of dirt while still having... The color of stone. Yes, yes, yes. I think, I think that has worked. Now it's the dirt layer and then I'm going to hang the leaves off the edge. And I think that, that will be the thing that ties everything together here. I do feel weirdly out of my comfort zone on this one, but I am enjoying the process. <laughs> it looks kind of funny at the minute. I will, I'll give you that. It looks kind of funny. It looks a bit like a piece of bread that's been in the oven for too long. It's like expanded outside of the pan. I actually think like bits of dripstone also here. So we'll have dripstone and then the leaves coming over the top. So it will almost look like there's root stack. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that idea. That might just be the rambliest clip I've ever recorded. I have played a lot of Minecraft today. <laughs> I've picked up all of my dripstone and bits and I'm adding them in and already I'm liking the way that this feels. I've now added some stairs and bits in and this is looking even better. Let's actually add some greenery here. First things first, hilariously, I don't actually have silk touch right now. So I'm having to do something so old school. This is a grass ladder. I need the grass to spread from all the way down here up onto this roof. Okay, okay, I've got a dangler there. And I've got a few more danglers coming in. I do think this is going to look better once the grass spreads because, I mean, I can't have it completely covered in leaf blocks up at the top. It does look cool already though. And the first step of our grass ladder has been taken. Right, I think I'm finally reaching a stage now where this is at its good point. I have absolutely no idea what this video is like at this point in time. It, it could be just a complete mess. I don't know. But you know what? That's a really good thing because I've just had my head in this build. I've just been having a blast making this. And and I think it's coming together pretty well. I really like it. I think it looks really cool. I just need to wait for the green to spread to the top. Our grass ladder is not progressing quite as fast as I'd hoped. I guess I could cheat and use moss and some bone meal, but I don't currently have any moss or bone meal, so that's probably out of the question too. I just spent some time catching up with Scar on a live stream. We both had an existential crisis, so now let's do the interior. I just had three creepers explode. What on earth? Right, now this might sound a little bit strange, but I actually kind of like the way the inside of this dirt block looks, so I might try and preserve some of it. Like, I'm almost tempted to do a build within a build here. If I build up this thing and then have a room, but then have the rest of the build visible, will that look weird? Feels like a strange idea, especially because this wall is closer to this one. Have I built it wonky? Nope. So it is just, it's just the way that the organic structure is formed. Like, I'm almost tempted to build a room within a room here. Is this weird? Like, is, if I build a room, in here but then leave some of it visible to the outside would that be strange it does feel like it could be strange but then i know this sounds silly what if i place a bunch of bamboo in here <laughs> so it's kind of like a weird garden you know we got we got stuff stretching to the ceiling <laughs> is this so oh man i don't know i don't know i i honestly you know, this stuff does not come naturally to me. I kind of weirdly like the idea of it, though. Like, I think it will look quite cool. Yeah, I've concluded it does look a little bit weird. So I'm going to extend our room upwards, and I'm going to add another layer to our sets of stairs here. Oh, but then that looks weirdly kind of cool. Maybe I just extend them up to the ceiling and then have some fence posts and <laughs> things. Maybe? I don't know. Grass ladder update is looking good. Interior update, it's looking... It's looking interesting. It's looking like something you know what i'm just gonna whack a podcast on i'm gonna get this finished the interior is done and my grass ladder has begun providing results who needs silk touch when you have random tick speed i am absolutely knackered i've been playing minecraft since five in the morning and it is currently 12 o'clock midnight but look at this place look at this place it looks pretty cool doesn't it and i imagine 
you know, once these areas get filled in with bamboo a little bit more, I just put some torches because none of them will grow. And once, once this area gets filled in with bamboo, it actually looks really nice and kind of like, it feels just super natural in here. I love the hanging lanterns. I like this. This is cool. This was my problem solving, trying to get this line of blocks to line up with this one. And I actually think this idea works really nicely. I quite like the floor. These are all blocks that I don't really build with ever, to be honest with you. I am a very, very big fan of this. Hopefully the 20 diamonds that I earn from this store will be worth all of the time that I've put into it. 